So, I found Joseph Arndt here. He's uh, our organist at St. John's Episcopal Church, but you probably already knew that anyway. And he's going to tell us about his little uh, music box. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Josh likes to call this my music box, but this is an organ, and it can go by several names. Uh, I typically call it the chamber organ. Sometimes it's called a portative, which is sort of a fancy name, but sometimes it's called a continuo organ. But I usually call it a chamber organ because it's usually reserved for playing chamber music, right? Chamber so, music. So what is uh, chamber music? What do you mean? Because <laughs> we're not in a, you know, like chamber, are we? Right. Well, chamber music refers to music performed by a small ensemble, whether it's uh, okay. a small group of singers or a small group of instrumentalists. So, so it's a chamber organ because it's right here. It's got three sets of pipes that are all made of wood in this box, as <laughs> Josh likes to call it. And it's meant to be right in the midst of the singers or an orchestra when we have an orchestra. Cool. So just in a second, we're actually going to take you through how this looks. So there's some words on here. What, what are those uh, words? What are they saying? It says, given to the glory of God by Catherine I. Magrini. Kathy was a really generous music supporter and a member of St. John's who died about a year ago now, and we miss her. So every time I see or come to play this instrument, I always think of her, which is special. But so I had uh, the makers paint this on there. So we always remember that Kathy gave this instrument. So I'll, I'll open it up. And what's kind of fun is that the lid with her name on it turns into the music rack. <laughs> so I'm gonna get my music rack together here and this is a very delicate instrument so I try to I try to move it slowly and carefully so I think my yep my music rack is there now so these levers here turn on the three different stops and what's a stop Joseph? a stop is a is a sound on the organ that has its own set of pipes so each of those has its own pipe and it also has doors that open. And when this instrument was being built, um, I asked the, the maker if we could paint these doors here, which lets the sound out, if, if they would be painted so that they reflect details already in the church. And so these panels above the altar, so you have stars and red, uh, red and blue, so. Like, like the Schoenstein, like the uh, chancel organ, it, it takes in motifs from the, from the church too. So I'll open the other door here. Is the other door any different or is it also reflecting? It's, it's the same, it, it lets the sound out. And so I'll, uh, I'll move the music rack back if you'd like to take a look at the pipes. They're all tiny little pipes. So yeah, they're very <laughs> tiny. All right, how, what's the smallest pipe in this? The smallest, oh gosh. I, like just show it with your hands. Maybe that, maybe that big. Oh wow, that's <laughs> really tiny. So, yes, and so the biggest ones are four feet, I guess. Four feet big, tall. <laughs> so, uh, so I'd say this organ has a very sweet sound and it's meant to accompany singers and uh, Baroque musicians, so. <laughs> Uh, it, it can sit at various pitch levels so I can move the keyboard uh, to the right or to the left and so it can play at modern pitch and at various Baroque pitch levels. So we gonna... are about to actually end our series about exploring the church building. It's been a very fun journey taking uh, all this time during the pandemic to really see the different areas of the church, see the different instruments that we use. And we did start uh, by exploring the organ and you notice that we're ending with the chamber organ. And the reason why is because in general, a lot of the ways that we go and worship God are through praising him. So you'll notice that there's always at every church some sort of musical thing that's going on. And that's because that is our main way of praising God. So to end this exploring the church series as we starting to move into more vlogs and just discussions and activities again, I want to read us a psalm. It's Psalm 95, verses 1 through 3. Oh, come, let us sing for the joy to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods.
as we read this psalm and as you reflect on it, just remember how great God is through everything that's been going on. And that now as things seem like they're kind of starting to come back to normal, do not forget to continually praise God uh, above everything. And even when we come back together, let's just sing joyfully together. Because honestly, that's the best thing about church. It's just being able to worship together, right? So God bless you all. Have a great, great afternoon. And I look forward to seeing you either in our services or sometime in the near future. Bye.